This is JB's Baseball Cards, here today with a two-box recap of what I got out of two boxes of 2022 Top Series 1. Found these at Walmart for $44.98. Um, pretty good value. I definitely got some good cards out of here. You get 16 packs per box with 256 total cards, so I got over 400 or 500 cards total. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and show off the inserts, the parallels, and the hits. I did get one hit, um, and then we'll go ahead and just... Show those off here in order of the first box and the second box. Go through these stars of MLB really quick. I'm sure you've seen a lot of these um, if you watch my channel. Um, they're pretty cool cards. I do like the design. Pretty cool foil that they are foil. Um, definitely some of the biggest uh, names in MLB. And some cool cards there. That's from the first box. You get one of those per pack. And I did get one Wander Franco, which is a good one to get. Get to the inserts, other inserts here, the less common inserts. I got home run challenge here of Shohei Otani and John Carlos Stanton. So two of those in both boxes. Here's some 1987 designs: Scherzer, Anderson, nice Rizzo, and Tyler McGill. Got some pretty more common parallels: White Sox team card rainbow foil, Trevor Story blue, and Chris Flexen Flexen rainbow foil. Got Generation Now of Shane Bieber. I do like that insert. And a Welcome to the Show of Ichiro. And flashiest feet of Aaron Judge. Then I got a couple chrome stars of MLB, Garrett Cole, and a pretty nice one here, Wander Franco. I'd say my first box was definitely the better of the two, but I did get both good cards out of both. Next up, nice Mike Trout die cut. Um, diamond die cuts, I guess was what they're called. That's a very nice card. Got an Akil Badu parallel. 1987 design at a 399, I believe, or 299, I believe that's a black parallel. Looking at his stats, I didn't realize how good of a rookie year he had, but definitely a good player with a lot of potential being so young. And the hit, nice Araldus Chapman game used Major League Material Relic card. It's cool that there's a little bit of the Yankee pinstripe on there. Um, if you haven't already, please check out my uh, um, earlier video. I did a through the mail, a private signing to Araldus Chapman, got back a cool looking autograph card. That's definitely a cool hit for me as a Cubs fan, who the guy who helped us win the 2016 World Series. So that's the first box. I'd say I did really well out of there with a hit and a nice low-numbered parallel. But here's the second one. Not so good, but I'll just go ahead and show off the stars of MLB again that I got. Looks like I got a few of the same. Um, but there are all those. Mr. Posey retired. And we get some inserts and parallels. Got a Tyler McGill blue. Which I think he's had a pretty good start to his rookie season. Daniel Bard, Rainbow Foil, and a blue Yermin Mercedes, who's kind of fallen off the map. I haven't heard much from him this year. You got a Javi Baez 1987 design, Home Run Challenge of Pete Alonzo. Welcome to the show of Correa, Giolito, and Mize 87s. Mookie Betts, Flashy's Feet. That's a good one. Wander Franco, Home Run Challenge. He's only hit one this year, I think, so far. But I'll definitely save that to the warmer months. Bo Bichette. Blue Jays, welcome to the show, Frank Thomas. And this one is actually a blue parallel, six four stars. Too bad I do not like TK Hernandez after he's killed my Cubs in the playoffs time or two. But there's that. I did not get a Wander base card in my first Mega, but I did get one in the second one, so that's cool. Also got this nice Generation Now Wander Franco, which I've actually pulled a couple of these already, but. Um, I like that insert a lot. It's cool that I got two Wander inserts and the base card in this box. And then I got a Vlad Jr. Topps Chrome Stars of MLB. And finally, my favorite card of the second box, Atlanta Braves Team Card Green Rainbow Foil Parallel. Number 473 out of 499. So I enjoy that, especially since I collect Ronald Acuna Jr. And that is... I guess this picture was probably taken from last season, which is the year they won the World Series. So it's got Dansby Swanson in there, who I also collect. So as a Cubs fan, I mean, I got lucky pulling a few of their autographs. Sometimes that's how you collect someone. You get a big card of them from a pack and makes you a fan of theirs. And I think this is especially cool since they won the World Series last year. Team card showing off some stats from last year in green foil parallel. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the boxes, if I did well out of these, and compared to what you've got. If you've opened any of these from Walmart or Target, let me know if you've pulled anything good, and I'll look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're having a good day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Go Cubs!